you need to future-proof Linux. And what do I mean by that? Well, what we're talking about today is Wayland. Wayland is the graphical environment. It's the modern replacement for X11. Now, I know you people on there on the internet get very emotional about Wayland and X11. Should Wayland replace X11? Why are we not using X11? X11 should last forever. Wayland's so much better than X11. X11's got buggy code. All these kinds of psychodramas. Now, as you might know from watching any of my previous videos, I don't really care about either X11 or Wayland. But, what I would say is you can see why Wayland exists. Now, you don't need my word for it. Just watch Brody Robertson, very good YouTuber. He covers everything. He covers the whole Wayland psychodrama. And that will give you all you need to know about why Wayland exists. Really, X11 has just been around for so long. It's got its problems. And ultimately, I don't care enough. As you know, I don't care enough. But uh, let's be honest about it, if X11 is not being maintained by its original developers and Wayland's the future, I know Wayland's not quite there yet. We will see some of its problems when we install a Wayland compositor, we'll get into all this, but Wayland is the future. Sorry guys, it's just how it is. I didn't make the rules, don't hate the player, hate the game, okay? If you don't like that, not my fault. Um, but you can see why it exists. You can see why it exists. Red Hat are one of the biggest um, developers on X11, and they're basically looking to get to dump it, okay? So Wayland's the future. So we need to future-proof, future-proof Linux, and we're going to do that today because there's no point waiting around. We're not going to know everything about Wayland. We're not going to know everything about our Wayland compositor, and, of course, what this really comes down to is what desktop environment or window manager use. So I guess it's time to get into it. How's that for an intro? Happy? Is that a good intro? I don't know, whatever. So um, anyway, let's have a little look. So you're probably wondering if you have no idea about Wayland, what is it? So like I said, it's a dis well, it's actually a display server protocol is aimed to become the successor to X, so X11, X window system. You can find a comparison on Wikipedia. How wonderful. So you, I'll put this Arch Linux wiki in the description. You can look through all of this for you. It makes a mention of something called X Wayland, which we will also be utilizing. Um, here's some requirements. Now I would say for us, um, it tends to use maybe like 30 megabytes more RAM and whatever. And uh, the protocol or the whatever we're installing and our window manager, which I'll get into, is very small, very lightweight, it's very nice, so it's all okay. Here you go, you've got all these different compositors for your window managers, and you can look into all of this if you want to use whatever you want to use. We're going to use Sway because it's a drop in replacement for iFree, which is what. I use on this testing machine is what I use for my graphical environment because I don't really care about tiling window managers. i3 is good for me because it's in the main repositories and I think your window manager should be in the main repositories. I'd probably use DWM if I didn't have to compile it and it's not about the compiling, it's not about the time because it takes seconds to compile, it's the fact that it, it's not in the main repository. I know I'm Try not to die on a hill here because it doesn't really matter. You use whatever you want to use. I have no problem with any of it, really. So, anyway, let's just close that out. We've gone on enough. So here it is. This is the actual window manager. This is the drop-in replacement, let's just call it, for i3. Okay, so it's uh, a compositor. I think it uses something called WL Roots. Again, you can look into this. Brody Robertson, he covers all this kind of stuff. Look, look out for him if you want to know everything you want to know about Wayland. Personally, it doesn't matter enough to me. We just know it works, that's what we... So, it's got some stuff here like NVIDIA. So if you're using NVIDIA and not a ThinkPad, I mean, first of all, what are you thinking? 
We don't have NVIDIA on our ThinkPads, or maybe you do on your modern ThinkPads. Um, and it's got some stuff about all this. Now I am going to get into all these locks and all this stuff in the future. A bit more um, iFree lock, for example, locks your screen, or does it? Well, anyway, we'll get into that. I don't really care about this stuff. We're future-proofing here, and when I say future-proofing, we are just getting on the road. We've got some years to go. Um, i3 is still going to be around, X11 is still going to be around, but in the future it will be Wayland. So we just need to get a head start. We need to get the core components installed and make sure everything literally works. And then in the future we'll look at more customization or what we're going to do with this thing. Anyway, so here you go. Here's some instructions. Uh, let's just, shall we just install this stupid thing? Let's get Wayland on our, I'm going to have it on my virtual machine, whatever. Um, be aware, you can, if you've got a desktop environment, you're going to have to probably look at the instructions to how it handles opening that um, thing. Of course, some installations have Wayland as default now, so lucky you, you don't have to worry about this. But you can, you can look at the Arch Wiki to find out what's going on for you. But if you're like me, we're going to do it for our drop-in replacement for i3. So anyway, here we go, I'm on my virtual machine. Uh, make sure you update your packages. Okay, so sudo pacman s dash s y u. Uh, let's put my stupid password. Should be up to date. There we go, perfect. So I think it is just called sway. We're gonna we're gonna search. We're gonna search for it. Oh yeah, actually, well, let's have a little look. Um, here is the package. So yeah, it's just sway. Um, so it has been updated recently. So. Just so you know, these are updated. This is still being supported. It's still, I guess, one of the more popular window managers in in or on Wayland, whatever. So it is just called Sway. Up in there, there you go. Oh, it's just giving me a load of Sway related stuff, whatever. Clear all this, we know what it's called. So sudo pacman dash s, and then it's called Sway. Here we go, so as you can see, it's installing WL, WL Roots, which is the protocol. People get, again, I think they get emotional about certain protocols of this and that, I don't know. This is what it uses, this is what we're using. Look at that, five megabytes, beautiful. And that's it, installed. So, we now have Wayland on our computer. End of video, only joking, only joking. This isn't quite it, so, um, well, I mean, I've got it installed on my main computer. I haven't really gone into the configuration stuff, but there's a few things we just want to get right, and we'll talk about the possible problems. So I guess uh, we just use Sway to load it. There we go, loaded. Now there is one problem. I can't load my, uh, I can't, we cannot get um, our other, like X term, I've got X term on it because by the nature X is for X11. This uses something called foot, so we need to change some things. I need to kill this somehow. I, I think I know how. I think I know how. Ooh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, okay, that wasn't exactly what we wanted. So we're just gonna, we are just gonna uh, reboot this. That wasn't exactly what I wanted. Um, maybe we should have done the configuration before. So um, we need to copy over like the Sway config and then we'll change a couple of things. Well, actually, let's try something else. You, you know how this goes on here. I do it my way. This is probably very amusing to you, so I hope you're enjoying this. Right, so let's log back in. Uh, I think that's all right. I can't even remember what my login is. Okay, so uh, let's set font. Let's get a better one here. There we go. Right, so um, what's it going to do? Okay, actually, let's install what I mentioned earlier. It's called X Wayland. So it gives you a hint of the name. It's, it's a, uh, it allows you to basically use X11 legacy programs that don't work technically with the Wayland Compositor to work on Wayland. Does that make sense? You can look in the docs, who cares? So we're gonna, I think it's just X Wayland. So we're gonna do sudo pacman dash s x Wayland. Okay, let's have a look. It's, again, this might not actually, 
This might not actually um, just work for us specifically, I don't know. Ooh, this is going well. So I don't lock myself out. What am I doing? X Wayland. Let's find out where X Wayland packages. X Wayland. Is it called X Wayland? X Wayland. X org. X Wayland. That'll be why. That will be why. So, to the Pac-Man, capital S, uh, X org. X Wayland. Ah, that is so annoying. So an. Okay. Still done it wrong. X org. X Wayland. Hmm. Pseudo, Pac-Man. Oh, come on, guys, help me. I can't spell Pac-Man right. That's why. Help me out here. Help me out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right. There we go. So if I do sway, will this work now? There we go. It works. Look, it's loading. Um, uh, well, let's have a look at HTOP. So there you go. We are, to prove to you, we are using X Wayland. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Not too bad on the um, processes there. So again, it's nice and light. Um, uh, this is using. I think this is using um, X term. So there you go. X Wayland just makes sure everything technically works. All those legacy programs in the new protocol or in the new Wayland protocol, whatever. So if I do uh, devour Firefox, that should work. Firefox works in Wayland, perfect, perfect. Look at this, absolutely magic. So there you go. Technically, it just works. There are a few caveats though. Um, you cannot uh, screen capture, you have to do um, various mitigations so there is a mitigation via uh, guide so i'll put a link to all this stuff so you can explore wayland we'll probably explore in future but just know all you need is sway drop in replacement will basically read your i3 um, configuration file um and x wayland x org x wayland and technically everything will work screenshots are a problem Obviously, if you record an X window session, like so, use FFmpeg and try and record. So, if I was trying to record Wayland using FFmpeg, you'd have to do something else. I'm not going to get into all this. You can look into all this. But if you've got i3 set up, just use this as a drop in replacement. You don't have to use it, just be future proof. Future proof is good, okay? You're using your smarts, you're ready for the future. When the apocalypse happens, you will have Wayland. When the X 11 apocalypse happens there you go so i was thinking i was thinking maybe i should just do a copy of the sway config thing i'm not even going to do that i'm going to leave this video here because we can look at that all in the future i don't even care about that that doesn't matter you can look at the documentation but that's all you need all you need to be future proof for um wayland how magnificent and in the meantime so you can fight it out in the comments what's better x11 or wayland or whatever or oh, well, here you go. Maybe you're using Cosmic. Cosmic uses Wayland. Lucky you. Um, so there you go. That's that's it. I've had enough of this video, so I'm going to leave it here. Um, you know what to do. The usual stuff. The usual fake YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. I know you love doing that. And uh, there we go. That is it. I'm out. I am out.